today, we are going to fight. We're going to stand strong for what we believe in, each other. Last month, the corridors of power in Washington opened up to the world's oldest profession. 40 sex workers met with 30 members of Congress to push back against the Fight Online Sex Trafficking Act. Why would professional lawmakers meet with professional lawbreakers? Reason tagged along to find out why. So what we're doing right now is super exciting because as far as we know, uh, there has never been a sex worker lobby day on the Hill, uh, but there is today. We're going to be going to our representatives talking with them. A lot of them aren't super familiar with sex worker rights. Particularly uh, in the wake of SESTA and how SESTA has impacted us. SESTA is a bill that passed recently that um, heavily restricts and criminalizes advertising for sex work on uh, the internet. The Stop Enabling Sex Traffickers Act, or SESTA, would allow sex trafficking victims to have their day in court by eliminating federal liability protections for technology providers that knowingly knowingly facilitate online sex trafficking. Today, when the House votes on FOSTA, we will be sending a clear message. Businesses that sell human beings online can no longer do so with impunity. FOSTA stands for Fighting Online Sex Trafficking Act. It is a law that purports to fight minors being forced into sex work. Uh, and it purports to do it by uh, increasing liability for online intermediaries. The bill also provides increased criminal liability and thus deters websites and individuals from selling human beings online. Websites will no longer be able to turn a blind eye or actively conceal this horrific practice without facing very real consequences. The federal government says if you're an online platform, you generally are not liable for what goes on, on your, by users on your site. FOSTA and SESTA before that are the first steps toward enforcing more liability uh, allegedly to go after sex traffickers. We're really fooling around in an odd way that you don't expect. We're fooling around with one of the legal foundations of the internet that's been really so successful, particularly with social media. Craigslist and Reddit have already shuttered sections of their website, citing FOSTA liability concerns. Facebook and other large technology companies have backed the legislation, while a trade group representing startups has opposed it. Thank you very much for being with us today as we signed this crucial legislation to combat online sex trafficking and bring criminals to justice. Signing the bill was very much in character for President Trump. It's a bill in which it appeals to people's gut instincts about things. It doesn't ask questions about, are we going about this in the right way? What are the costs? What are the, co you know, all of those issues. Populists don't ask those questions. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. The only surprising thing is he didn't support it more strongly, and I think that's probably because he himself has uh, legal and indeed political issues connected to various kinds of sexual issues, let's say. Today, Carl Ferrer, the CEO of Backpage.com, the man behind what authorities are calling the world's top online brothel, facing criminal charges for the very first time. The purpose of government is not to make people into better people morally. If government's role is to enforce a majority or a minority's view, you're going to be coercing people who are pursuing their idea of what the good life is. To even discuss sex work is something that we weren't sure what the response would be for that. Sure. And that is the problem that we're trying to overcome here right now, is the, the lack of communication, because we've found that most people don't even know what FOSTA and SESTA mm -hmm. are slash were, and that they were very effectively manipulated, essentially, into believing that it was truly an anti-trafficking mm -hmm. law, when in reality, it is hurting survivors of trafficking and it's really hurting sex workers. Sex workers often advertise on the internet um, as a way to screen clients. And this is a huge help in keeping people safe. 
If you don't have the ability to check on someone's criminal record, for example, before you meet up with them, you don't know if they could be violent or not. And because FOSTA limits in a lot of ways the ways I am able to advertise and run my business, um, it makes it more dangerous for me. The Department of Justice had sent over a letter uh, very last minute, mm -hmm. kind of speaking to the, I don't know if I call it ad hoc, but the fast moving nature mm -hmm. of the bill, mm -hmm. uh, that they obviously weren't even consulted yeah. uh, before it was brought to the floor. Yeah. And it, you know, even DOJ was saying that they, they questioned highly the constitutionality. We live in a system where the process is supposed to be deliberative, it's supposed to be fairly slow, you're supposed to have committee work, it's supposed to be informed and detailed. The original law had many problems and there was a lot of informed criticism of it and Congress on the House side was responding but then suddenly it was pulled out of committee on the House side, brought to the uh, floor for a vote. Uh, and passed and then signed uh, by President Trump. Once it got out of that and got defined as are you for or against uh, coercively forcing children to engage in sex, you know, uh, that was the definition and no one was going to vote for that. These are tough bills because you, you look at the titles of them, mm -hmm. you, know, you look at what people say that they do. And it's, 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 it's a setup it's it's because it's then it's going to be you an election it. year and it's like, well, this yeah. person voted for <laughs> child slavery. He was great. Darrow's yeah. signed a meeting that goes better than that. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, I mean, he spoke with us for an hour. I, I don't often leave a, a, a building feeling uh, hopeful for my government. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Being like, wow, I really feel like I'm being represented by my elected officials. Over 30 more congressional representatives would open their doors to Jinx and other sex worker activists that day. And by the end of the month, the Electronic Frontier Foundation joined Human Rights Watch and the Woodhull Freedom Foundation in a lawsuit challenging FOSTA in federal court. I'm not saying I'm happy with Washington, D.C. I'm not saying I'm happy with the politicians. I'm glad they did the thing that they are supposed to do, which is represent us. So you can't bring down the whole system overnight. We can't decriminalize sex work overnight either. But as we continue to have dialogue with our representatives, perhaps we can shift it a little bit closer to the kind of government that we say we have. <laughs>